Hey, yo, what's up, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Action Jackson, man. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, the possibility of what could happen to our offensive line when we get Tyron Smith back. And also about the news of the Dallas Cowboys officially, officially being in play for the Odell sweepstakes, man. So before we hop into the video, I would appreciate if you guys would like the video, subscribe if you're new, comments, and share my video with anyone you think might enjoy my content, man. So I've been straight into it, man. Um, you know, I'm trying to make a lot, some videos throughout the bye week. And, you know, happy Sunday to everybody out there. Um, kind of sucks that the Cowboys isn't playing, but I'm not really, you know, I'm not really stressed out about it because it just, you know, that's a week of where I'm not stressing, yelling at the TV, you know what I'm saying, things like that. So, you know, there was a report that came out during the bye week that Stephen Jones said that Tyron Smith is about three to four weeks away from starting his 21-day uh, window. And if you guys aren't uh, aware, with the 21-day window, uh, every single time that you activate somebody from the IR list, they have 21 days to then practice and actually be on the football field, practicing and everything like that. Because if not, I think you have to put them on season-ending IR or something like that. So um, as you guys all know, during the summer, during training camp, we have that, um, that we'll never forget that day where he went out to go do a, a simple reach block to uh, Lane Van Der Esch during the training camp. He slipped, did the splits. He walked up on his own, and and we thought, oh, well, it could be bad, but it wasn't that bad because Tyron Smith was able to walk on his own will. You know, come find out a couple hours later, <laughs> he that's why I'm saying Tyron Smith is just a specimen. It's his whole entire hamstring came off the bone of his leg. And it was crazy how he was just able to walk up on his own. But we know that Tyron Smith wasn't able to play 14 plus regular season games or 15 regular season games. We knew we were not getting that out of Tyron Smith no more. We haven't gotten that out of Tyron Smith in a very long time. So, you know, three... Three to four weeks from now, we're in week nine. So, you know, three weeks from now, that puts it in. And, and then, of, of course, with the bye week that we are now, that technically, I think, puts them out of like two more games. So we basically, we won't see Tyron Smith on a football field until December, man. So if we just look at the schedule, bro. If we just look at the schedule, you know, week 10, uh, we come out and we go play Green Bay. Uh, week 11 is Minnesota. Week 12 is play the New York Giants on Thanksgiving. And then from where you see the Texan, uh, we, from where you see the Colts all the way down, those are our December games. Except for uh, Washington, that's a January game. So basically, I expect to see Tyron Smith around maybe that Jacksonville game. Either Jacksonville or Philly is when I see him coming back. Now, for me, when Tyron Smith comes back, uh, and those those another quote uh, stated also by Stephen Jones that he said that you would think that when Tyron Smith comes back, he's definitely going to be he's definitely going to be one of your best five offensive linemen out there. And I feel the same exact way that when Tyron Smith comes back, he is one of your best off, best five offensive linemen. And this is what I know with the Dallas Cowboys. And, well, not really the Dallas Cowboys, but with Tyron Smith. I know Tyron Smith can't play 10-plus games. All I'm asking Tyron Smith to do is just seven games. Seven, six games. Because he's going to need time. He's going to need about two or three regular season games to ramp up, to get in game shape. It doesn't matter how much you know he stays in shape off the field. No matter how, how many times he's, work, he's working out, rehabbing, whatever, whatever. Um, you know, out of game shape is different than in game shape. You, you know, getting into that NFL speed and seeing those edge rushers and seeing those blitzes and taking on those blitzes, those are a totally different package. So, obviously, he needs about two or three games to um, ramp up plus playoffs. This is what I do know is that when he gets back, he's getting that left tackle spot. 
Tyler Smith has been amazing, amazing. He's definitely going to be once Tyron Smith says, hey, I'm going to retire as a cowboy. I'm going to hang up my cleats. That's it. I'm done. We all know Tyron Smith is going to the Hall of Fame. He's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. And we know that, you know, we know that when he, st- when he comes back, he's going to get his left tackle position. And what that means for Tyler Smith is he's going to go back to left guard where he has been training all summer at and Tyler Smith is one of those generational guys where you can put at left guard or left tackle as long as he's staying on the same side of the left side we will be fine um like I said he was practicing he came in playing left tackle from the draft then we transitioned him to left guard because we were like we got Tyron Smith at left tackle so it doesn't make sense that we have a first round draft pick to be sitting when he we, when we already know he has just right now, just coming out of the draft, he's automatically better than Connor McGovern or who you know, McGovern or whoever you put at left guard. So putting Tyron uh Tyler Smith at left guard and Tyron Smith at left tackle, uh Bialis, Tyler Bialis at center, Zach Martin at right guard, and Terrence Hill at right tackle, that's easily your best five offensive linemen by far. And I feel like offensive linemen is definitely gonna come key when you play these teams. You know, definitely, because definitely I can see you where uh, in the wild card, you're going to have to play Seattle or you're going to have to play NFC West team like the Niners. Um, I won't. And then you get you get out of the first round. You're going to have to see in the second round. You're going to have to possibly see Philly again. That's going to be another team that's going to have a lot of nice pass rushers inside and outside. So it's definitely going to be key to get Tyron Smith back and getting Tyron Smith back. With Tyler Smith, a young guard, uh, really nice tackle, you know, a really nice offensive lineman that we got. Him, Tyron on the same side, plus with your other best three, your offensive line, you you automatically, once you get Tyron Smith back and you can ha- ask him to play six, seven games leading towards the stretch of the, you know, season, you know, because you're going to play four playoff games and then you're going to play at least three regular season games so what that means is you know we're, we're going to need tyron smith definitely in this long stretch of the run and if tyron smith goes ouch or he's hurt guess what you kick tyler you kick tyler smith back out to left tackle you get mcgovern at left guard and you roll like that so um that's what i think our best five should look like moving forward i'm gonna say it again Tyron Smith, I love tackle. Tyler Smith, I love guard. Tyler Biosh at center. Right guard, Zach Martin. Right tackle, Terrence Steele. So that's my idea. And what I believe that the Cowboys should do once Tyron Smith comes back. So yeah, man. Now if we're heading to the second part of the video. Let's talk about OBJ real quick. Alrighty, man. Shout out to A to Z Sports and uh Rap Sheet. You know, uh five hours ago, a couple hours ago. Um there was a report coming out that the Cowboys are officially part of the uh, Odell sweepstakes. And we know that right now Odell is, uh, well, now today, you know, he turned uh, 30 the other day on uh, November 5th. So uh, he, now he's 30 years old. Um, per Jay Glazer, that came out just about 20, 30 minutes ago, uh, that Odell is cleared to play this week. So. Uh, you know, he's cleared to play and everything like that. So now it's ramping up that Odell is possibly looking to sign for a team. Now, the other teams that are in the sweepstakes for him are the Green Bay Packers, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Buffalo Bills, uh, Dallas now, Rams. So for me, what I believe is... I just I don't know too much from what Odell is saying, but I felt like Odell wants a pretty long term deal with whatever team he's going to sign with. Um, I'm pretty sure he's, he, I'm, I know he's not going to ask for like a five year deal um, worth about two about worth north of like one hundred and thirty million dollars. I know he's not going to ask for that, but I can definitely see Odell wanting a team to sign him to about at least two to three years. And uh, give him a pretty guaranteed contract. Um, you know, for a player like him, I, I, I see that from his point of view. But if you just look at his injury history from the past, you want to just let's just do the past three years. 
you know, it sucks that he got that um, that injury in the Super Bowl because if he didn't, um, uh, they were going to blow out. First off, they were going to blow out the Bengals and Odell was going to win Super Bowl MVP. And that just would have made his career even sweeter for him. And I'm for sure he would have stayed with the, uh, uh, you know, the Rams if he didn't get hurt. But, you know, what it could have shut up. Sucks for him. So I'm not even trying to act like no sympathy towards him. But that's how just the crooked crum- crumbles in the NFL. Then you look at, uh, you look at the year prior to that, uh, 2020, he played five games towards Achilles. Then you go over to 2019. Um, you know, that's when he got, it was that off season where he got traded from the Browns to the Giants. Uh, he played a full season, but he didn't play that great, which I don't blame him because Odell, I mean, Baker Mayfield is not a good quarterback. So, you know, it, it was what it was at that point, but you know, Odell has a lot of injury history, man. And now he just turned 30, not saying 30 is a bad age, but you know, you're 30 and then you've had what three season-ending injuries because you had a torn Achilles or a torn ACL um, 2020. Uh, you just, you know, you tore your ACL in uh, February. So, you know, injuries are piling up on him and I don't see a team giving him a long-term deal. But in terms of him signing with the Cowboys, I mean, he has expressed interest in the past that he did want to sign with the Cowboys. And I also felt like he's going to want to sign to a team that's a contender. And a team that he can go in and play, get reputable uh, snaps, and help a team win a Super Bowl. And I felt like those are um, only a few teams that he can do that with. And I felt like, for me, that's the Cowboys. Because the Cowboys have a good quarterback. Whether people, whether people like it or not, Dak Prescott is a top 10 quarterback. I don't, I don't care, you know, I don't care where you put him in that 10. To me, he's a top 10 quarterback. You, you know... Of course, there's going to be people that I deem better than him. That's fine. So you're, you're going to have that. The Chiefs, he's going to want to play with the Chiefs. He's going to, he can easily right now go to the Chiefs and be the number one receiver. But I don't know. Like I said, the only thing that's separating um, Dallas probably from the other teams is probably what will the other teams give Odell? Because Odell is going to want to go play with either uh, the Ravens with Lamar. He's going to want to play with Buffalo because he's cool with Von Miller. And they also have a great quarterback. And he's playing with Stephon Diggs. So, that you know, that's that's another possibility. Um, Rams, he, he might he might just want to go back home. You know, he might just want to stay where he's at and check out L.A. and probably go back to the Rams, you know, and see if he can help them out again. You know, Green Bay, I don't see him wanting to go play for Green Bay. And now, unless Green Bay's... Uh, strings up a couple of wins, which they won't. But um, he might want to go play with Green Bay. Who knows? Because I think Odell definitely wants to go with a team that they'll deem him as their legit starter. And most likely he probably wants to go to a team where he'll be the number one receiver again. So, or maybe he just does, he doesn't mind taking the number two because I felt like that's another thing where he matured at what it was with the Rams where he knew Cooper Cup was that guy. And he just came in to be a plus one to help a team win a Super Bowl. So I felt like he doesn't even mind even taking a wide receiver two position. So all I'm asking for is the only way how he keeps Dallas um, out of the realm is if Odell doesn't for a big contract more than a year deal, uh, the Cowboys are not going to sign him. If he wants a lot of money and a long-term commitment, the Cowboys are out of it. And I feel like that's going to be like what a lot of teams... But I'm pretty sure the Bills won't mind t- giving him a three-year deal. The Chiefs won't mind giving him a three-, four-year deal, maybe a two-year deal on the cheaper end of that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so that's my opinion on the Odell sweepstakes, man. I, I really hope we're part of it. I really hope that we do sign Odell. Um, signing Odell for the Cowboys, will he will be our best receiver if we do sign him to our team. Um, CeeDee Lamb still has a lot to show. You know, this is our this is his first year ever actually being our number one guy, and he still has to, you know, develop into that. And then with our, you know, how Kellen Moore is, Kellen Moore is more of a systems guy, so he just says um, it doesn't matter what talent, everyone's going to get the ball equally. So, you know, we're you know we're kind of in a 
messed up offense where we can't really show off our really great talent. Sometimes we do, depending on how Kel Moore is feeling. But um, yeah, but I, I feel like easily Odell will be our top two receiver, you know. But it's going to suck because you're going to get him coming off of uh, ACL. Then you already have Michael Gallup trying to work back from ACL. So, you know, even if Odell, he will be our second receiver because you're going to have Seed Lamb, who's been healthy for the most part. Then you're going to have Odell at your two, uh, Gallup playing your slot. And I feel like we can roll. And and I just feel like, man, you get Odell and he just did the th- and he, if he can just do half the things he did when he joined the Rams. And um, the defense keeps doing what they're doing. They keep being solid and legit. This is going to be a team in the playoffs that nobody wants to see. And that's Philly. That's San Fran, Seattle, Minnesota, whoever. So, yeah, man, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys have a nice day. Stay safe. Stay blessed. See you later. Bye.